If you'd like to install the beta version for Windows Server 2019, you need to become a Windows Insider because it hasn't been released yet. So what you want to do is go to insider.windows.com, just like you see here. After that, go ahead and click on Become an Insider. And then you're going to put in your Windows email address and go ahead and log in. Now, if you don't have an account with Microsoft, just go ahead and click No Account, Create One. Put in an email address of your choice. It doesn't have to be a Microsoft account. It could be any email address you want or a phone number. And then you'll get a text or an email to confirm your information, and then you're in. That's it. Now you want to open up uh, the following link here to get to the Insider build. So you go to Microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash Windows Insider Preview Server. If you just if you leave out the word server, then you get Windows 10. So you don't want that. You want the server. All right. So once you're in there, you're you're uh, sent right to the spot here where it says build 17.623 or whatever build it's currently on. So one is an ISO file and the other one is a VHDX if you're just going right to Hyper-V. If you uh, want to download those, you can, but it's going to be just the core version. So if you want to get the GUI version, the one with the desktop experience, and you click on the VNext LTSC preview, and that's going to have the GUI in it. And then uh, you should see the desktop experience during the installation, and you're good to go. If you want, you can also get Project Honolulu, which is a web-based GUI, if you want to do that as well. Typically, people will do that for the core version, so you can still have a GUI on top of your core that you access remotely. So that is how you get to Windows Server 2019 beta using the Windows Insider program.